Okay, I want to say hi again everybody and welcome to this another video here. In this video I'm about to uh, train along to my first attempt at making an audio, interactive audio martial arts uh, training session. I have uh, the audio on my computer, the file, and I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to stand here in a fighting stance and I'm going to focus, okay, uh, basically here and I'm going to focus on the target in front of me and just work on my alignment of movements while I'm listening to that. With practice over time I'll probably get better and better and this is what um, I'm going to do. So I'll be making some more audio and video kind of interactive training stuff for you guys too, okay? Thanks for watching this. Uh, I'm not going to speak, I'm just going to get on with it, okay? And see how I feel, see how I go for 10 minutes because I made this stuff, made this for you guys as well as me, so let's see how it goes, okay? Let's get into this. Yeah, 
low, low. <laughs> Hurry, hurry, 
overboard there went over time I just went over the 10 minutes but I've done the whole thing um, I think this one is a little bit more advanced okay I think maybe uh, if it was a little bit more slower but mind you I was, I was going a bit more faster and I was getting a bit kind of tense you know I'm trying to focus but if you like you can train slowly also one two three you know get the movement slowly if you want to train that way you don't have to train so fast try and get so many reps out you know your stances too you don't need to stand in such a big stance you can stand, you can stand in a natural stance you know two three just naturally bend your legs naturally i'm used to bending my legs a lot because of the kung fu you know usually so like your good stances but you don't have to like for this for, this, for all training you know, you need to be natural. So if you're doing kickboxing or taekwondo, let's say, you know, it might be more natural on your feet, you know? Or even boxing, you know, any, anyway, right? So, but you, so obviously there is power from the waist and the root and the, the legs. But yeah, it, I think it's good training overall. It's my first time trying this. So in future, I'll be doing more like this, okay? I will do some more easy ones. This one was 10 minutes. You can do five minutes. This one was 10 minutes and uh, I kind of went a bit crazy. I've just finished a full on full body workout also. You can check it out in the other video. Um, get the breathing going. You'll notice when I'm breathing, like, I'm breathing, you know, because it helps you to focus on the move. But like, don't breathe all your way. No, just a little like, just focus as you're doing the movement to focus, you know. Um, also, um, as I say, you know, um, I will make more where it's, more, where it's less changes so frequent. This one was kind of random where it was prompting me to do different techniques pretty close to the other ones. And I didn't really get enough practice on them. I was trying to like blur, blast out more repetitions of each one faster. If you want to do slower training, uh, you can do that, you know. Um, and I'll, I will make some more, you know, with less um, frequent changes so you get enough time to practice whether you train sl slowly or more faster but between like even like if it's like one or two minutes between but then again it's going to depend on how long you want to train for if it's a five or six minute thing and you're training two two minutes of one technique or one minute of one technique then you're only going to get three or six techniques uh, of you know but that might be okay you know but a 10 minute one's good you could do eight to ten minutes you know, so I'm really happy with this. I think it's a very good thing I'm doing. And because also you have to follow with the timing anyway, and I have to follow the, the prompts, that's also helping me to be more relaxed as I have to focus and relax myself and not be so tense and, and focus on my moves. And that's what you really want, is to be more spontaneous, more natural, more relaxed in your movement so you can deliver. You know, because I get this stiff shoulder sometimes. You may have noticed that my right shoulder my right, my right ankle too, my right shoulder, my right ankle. I do a lot of working out, but it's like, I've had this for years. I don't know if different people are different, you know, but, you know, um, yeah, you saw me getting a bit stiff there, but it was it was making me focus though, you know? And um, some of it's just habits, you know? You know, um, that's, that's a good thing though, you know? 
And also another thing, okay, you don't have to do it in the fighting stance, like, like they're one foot back, which is the best way, but it's like, you can also stand like this parallel, have your feet and just go. Even when it says jab, cross, you get the idea anyway. A, a cross basically is the same as a jab from the backhand anyway, but it's just in the backhand. So when it says cross, jab, cross or jab, the same sort of thing. I could stand here and just do it, you know. Bam, bam, boom, boom. You can still utilize that turning if you wish to. You could do that, you know. Bend your legs if you wish to, or just stand there first to get used to the movement. One, two, boom, boom, ba, ba. Boom, ba, boom, 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 ba, 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 ba. boom. And just work with the, with the motions, just carefully. Focus on that center line, you know. Excuse me, focus on the center line, you know. And don't forget, you can also do jabs to body, like jab cross or hooks, boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. You can do a variation. You don't have to literally punch the face, you know. Boom, boom, see? Bam, boom, 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 boom. But I want to work to the face. Usually I like to punch to head height. But you can do body shots also, of course, you know. And it's good basic cover-ups. See, I'm covering my, with my elbows. They're covering my ribs, see? But I think training like this is a good thing to do. Thank you for watching and train hard and stay safe. More videos to come. Martial arts for life. Keep it alive. Thank you.